Oh well, it's Melinda. I want to welcome you to my channel. Today is load 1017, day 18, and day is I got a secret about girls. And today I've decided to use this just Nick loopy circle background cut file. It kind of reminds you of flowers, but they're just kind of loopy circles. And I got this idea of backing these from Orange Girl did a video where she used this paper from the Hit Kit Club. And she used a flower cut file from the Hit Kit. And I like the idea because this paper is not a paper that I would normally use. But when she backed the flowers with it, you really, it was just color. And I like that idea. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing, but with these circles and just cut these out and back them with different parts of this paper. I actually have two sheets of this because they came in in something else that I bought. So if I don't have enough of the colors that I want, I'll cut into the other one. I do like the back of this paper, so I'd like to kind of not cut into a second one if I can get by. I've cut it one whole one and one part one because I think I want it to sit off one side and come a little bit on the other side for me to put journaling or whatnot on it. Um, I have not decided on a background paper, but I have these two. This is Pink Fresh Studio Escape the Ordinary Dare. The green looks nice with that green. There's the back. And Heidi Swap Magnolia Jane Blush. And I like the watercolory pink. So I don't know which one I'm going to use. I'm going to back this and then put them on both and see which one I like. And maybe just scrap them all and put it on white. Who knows? I'd like not to do that today, though. This is a picture of my oldest daughter. She put this on Instagram just yesterday. And she's wearing this necklace. Go ahead, focus on the necklace. It is a, there you go, necklace that came on this card. And I like the saying, unstoppable, the secret to having it all is knowing that you already do. Got this from Kohl's. And she just received a offer for a internship this summer and she's a freshman at college so it's a big deal and I'm very proud of her and I want her to be very proud of herself so I got her this necklace and a little card and I just want to do a layout about that maybe using the word unstoppable as the title I'm not sure we'll see how that goes but I'm going to stick you on fast forward well, I develop this layout. I'll see you at the end. I'm going to tape, untape this. Um, I, my cutting mat isn't the stickiest and I'm trying to make it last. So I use washi tape to tape it, the paper down on it. And I do end up jumping forward here soon. I noticed that some of the corners weren't cut on this. I need to change my blade. So I'm going to get this off and then I'm going to jump forward so you don't have to watch all this. I cut a full one in the center and then a partial one on the side because of my thought that I was going to use both of them. I'm just going to use my spatula to pop this up. I have a silhouette but I use a Cricut cutting mat and Cricut tools for it. Just going to pop it all off. And like I said, the corners didn't cut, so I just took it off and 
put it on my regular mat and just cut into the corners, especially on the really tiny parts in the center was a difficult. It took me about 15 minutes in real time to get this all weeded, so not too bad. And I'm going to now lay these on papers after I cut the photo. Um, it's smaller than four inches wide, so I was able to put it on there so I could get a white border. And I put it on here right away, and this is just too pale, and I don't like the fact that the color doesn't go all the way to the edge. And I like the green, but the streaks across the paper I think are going to be distracting for what I want to accomplish. So I'll put these back and I go to pick up, let's see, it's called Cray Paper Cute Girl Magical. It's the same green color. Yeah, it works perfectly. I'm just going to trace which ones I want. The goal is to have the center of the loopy circle be the center of the flower if possible. And I'm just going to cut around it and only glue on the outside of the loopy circle so that the center is free to be popped up if I want to later. Had a little bit off center there. And like I said, I don't make you watch me do this either. I'll show you this one and I just put the glue on the outside ring and I flop it on there. I'm going to try to get the big flowers done first so that um, I can use the biggest flowers. And I don't want to use any of the green flowers. I lay it on here and I wonder if what it would look like with white. So I got a piece of white cardstock and I put it on there. That's not bad, but I like the color paper. And I'm going to fuss around with where this goes. I'm going to grab some layers. This is just some vellum. I'm going to do a couple layers of that. Not full, not full, so they're going to be pieces behind the photo. Just using my scrap vellum. I keep all my scrap vellum in a bag on top of my full vellum in, in my Sterilite drawers. And I consider anything scrap that's not a full piece. I'm going to just staple those so they stay together. At this point, I'm unsure whether I want to pop the photo up so I don't attach it yet. This is a piece of packing material from the Hit Kit. And I didn't like the other one because it was minty and it kind of blended in. But this is the polka dotted one. It's sort of the pinky coral color. And this is the scrap from the flower paper. It didn't need many layers because of all the stuff going on around it. But I wanted it to have something to separate just the photo from the cut file. I think I'm going to use gold. Those are just kind of harsh, and I wanted more of a scripty font. So I'm going to go with the thickers in hazel. And as soon as I lay them out there, I think I don't like this arrangement of the two cut files. I have two packs of them, of hazel, because I loved it so much I used it all the usable letters, the vowels, pretty quickly. And I didn't want to not be able to use the rest of this, so I bought a couple more packs. And I'm going to go with Unstoppable, and that makes it the word really long because these, these are a nice size font. And when I get it on there, it just looks 
I don't know, too wide. So I set it up the way I want it. And I think down here, no. It just leaves weird white space. And then I put it there. And that actually didn't look that bad now that I see it now. That would have worked. So I stick it in the center and try to figure out if this will work. I decide that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to peel off the ones on the partial cut file and glue everything on so that's a full cut file. And then last minute I decide to change it up and put it sideways. And I'm going to pull the centers up. I'm still thinking that the title needs a little bit more. And there's not a whole lot more that I do to the layout. I'm going to sprinkle gold because now that I have gold letters, I need other gold things in my head. That's how I work. I don't know why I was flopping it. I thought I was going to dry it, maybe make it run a little bit. I don't know. Silly. And I keep thinking it needs something more. I'm going to, these, I, these um, fonts, stickers, I got, I believe, at Walmart. And they're just gold and they're sort of scripty, but they're not, they don't connect. I'm going to spell U. And at first, I do not, I don't like the U being there. It's too thin, It that space right there bothers me. So I think I'll go back to that. But then my second sheet of paper, which I did have to cut into even though I didn't want to, I decide that I'm going to border this whole layout in it. So I cut this down, and it's a very thin border. I cut it down to um, 11 and 3 quarters, so it's going to have just a thin little piece. But I still got this at 11 by 11. And I'm going to tape that side that I cut into with washi tape on the back and you won't even be able to tell. Just a little piece of washi tape. You can't even tell. I debated on whether I was going to sew on this layout or not. I was afraid that I was going to take away from, I wanted it to be more center focused. So I was a little afraid if I sewed on it, it would, I don't know, pull your eye away from the center. I didn't have any of that minty green thread, so I couldn't, it wouldn't have been tone on tone. It would probably have been a white thread. So I'm just going to peel it up and let it leave it. That you is still bothering me. And I either could journal around the edges, which I thought about, or my old standby, journal behind the tag, or on a tag. I grabbed a gold hashtag paper clip to add my third gold piece. And I'm going to go with that. I just stuck the um, paper clip onto the vellum layer behind the vellum layer. I'm creating my solid back for my tag to slide against. And I'm going to create my pocket with some Scott's Fun Foam. I cut it in half, create the channel, and then get another piece to create the stopper. This probably sounds like a broken record. If you watch more than one of my videos, I do this all the time. Put the backer piece on. It was a little bit too long, so I trimmed it.
and I decide that's it. And I realize I put this down before I um, put down my photo cluster. So the B and the L are going to go up onto the photo cluster and I realize I didn't stick this down. So gotta do that. And I'm trying to figure out if I put it on the end by the BLE, it's too far apart. I like it tucked next to the P, but it needs something. So I have these labels cut out of the documentary paper that was full of labels. And I decide that that would be a great place to, a great landing spot for the U. And I'm gonna put the, put the date stamp there so it has a purpose. That makes me feel better. The U just felt like it was floating and there was too much space at the end. That kind of just fills it. I just put the date, October 17th, 2017. I know these, are, I'm not putting anything underneath these centers, so in the page protector, those are gonna probably fall down, but they can float around. The tag, I make a reinforcer out of the pink. And then I'm gonna get my pink jute. I think this is geranium I end up using. I really quick mark with a pencil where the tag sits. Now I decide that the tag needs something and I think it needs yellow. And I get washi tape and I just put a very thin layer of washi tape around the, all the edges. I normally just draw a line around it, but I didn't want to do that this time. When it's done, I don't love it. I mean, it's not, it's not kind of what I wanted, but I leave it. The yellow just seems a little bit too bright. And I do it all the way around the tag. And like I said, I leave it but it's not my favorite thing. I probably wouldn't use yellow again if I had the choice. I'm just gonna um, draw lines with my ruler. My last layout, I left a link to this ruler. I love this ruler for journaling. And I keep it right with my pens and pencils on my desk. This is really thin, so I usually double this up and it creates four strings when I cut it. Not always the, not always the best thing for the layout, but I like the thickness of it. Okay, I'm gonna slow this down and show you some slow close-ups. All in all, the layout I like and I guess I could have sewn on it. It would probably wouldn't have been that bad, but it's done. There's some close-ups at the end here. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.